actually can't believe I haven't done a drive with me yet. But hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The weather is disgusting today. It is wet and rainy and windy and I hate driving in the rain. So I haven't actually decided where I want to go. So I might just drive, see where we end up. I guess that is like what like a spontaneous drive is but i just like to be a little bit prepared when i drive waiting for connection no bluetooth today so how is everyone please let me know i feel like i haven't spoken to you guys in ages is there a car coming i hope not the place where i park i'm always squashed into like two cars so it's always so annoying to get out but it is okay it is a shame because I wanted to do a lot of drive with me's when I first started driving, but I never did. So I'll just update you on my little driving experience. Um, I actually, I already have a love-hate relationship with driving. Like when I'm driving, it's fine, but I just, I, I don't enjoy it that much. I'll be completely real. Even though I do drive like every single day, but the thought of driving and when someone tells me to drive, I'm like, I'm never excited. Even when I first started driving, I never was. I feel like driving for me just comes with a lot of anxiety because I'm like, what if like, I always think that something bad is going to happen, touch wood is not. But I feel like it's very natural just to be scared. And I struggled a lot with, um, oh my God, there's a bus. <laughs> struggled a lot with what lane I needed to be in which led to a lot of people beeping at me and like I was like so stressed out when driving but now I've like memorized all the lanes I need to be in and I'm like quite good at driving out touch wood but right where should we go left or right hmm. usually I'm gonna go left because when I go right usually there's a lot of traffic But there was like a massive thunderstorm yesterday and I had to pick up my parents um, from the station and oh my gosh, it was flooded. I thought my car was gonna break because it was flooded. It was actually crazy. And I, as soon as my dad got in the car, I was like, dad, I think I've broken my car. Obviously I hadn't, but it was scary. It was really scary. Like it was flooded and I was just like, so I was driving in water and I was like, yeah, this is not good for my car, but I didn't really have any options. We merged into two lanes into one, so we always gonna check the mirrors. I'm a very good driver in the sense that I'd always go the speed limit and I'm always looking in my mirrors. Like, I feel like a lot of people just forget to do those kind of things. Like, but I'll never, you know, I'm good, I'm good. But if you guys couldn't already tell, I do drive automatic. I, a lot of people do take the piss that I drive automatic, but for me, like, I love it. Like, it's so much easier, and I'm not very good at multitasking, so the fact that I can just focus on the road but rather than focusing on a gear stick is, like, so much nicer for me, and, and I prefer it so much. Well, I need to get petrol soon. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, which is quite a trek. Well, quite, quite a drive. Right, where shall I go? I'm gonna go up this way. I'm gonna go left again. My camera is sellotaped onto um, my car because I was <laughs> scared of it falling and like I don't want to create any distractions when I'm driving. Anyway, so let's talk about exam season. So a lot of my viewers, um, I guess you're doing your GCSEs, your A-levels or maybe just exams in general. First of all, I'd like to say good luck. Um, you got this, don't worry. It's only temporary and then you can relax all summer. You got this. I am well, if I was in sixth form, I'd be doing my A-levels, but I go to college, so I've literally just got, I do one subject, and I've just got a final project that I have to do, which was so nice. Um, so even though I am stressed out, like, I'm definitely less stressed out than I would be if I did um, A-levels. Um, but I cannot believe it, I'm literally finishing school this year, forever. And talking about future plans, girl's got no idea what she wants to do. Um, I've never really wanted to do uni. Um, I was contemplating doing an apprenticeship or getting like a full time job in like social media. I would love to be like, um, I'd love to do social media like assistancing or like being a social media manager for a brand. That would be um, amazing. 
but again I'm not sure I, to be honest I don't really know how to get the job I've tried making like uh, crazy portfolios and stuff too. if you guys have any advice please let me know but I'm also contemplating maybe getting a part-time job or just having a job on the side and focusing on content creation full time because that is where my true passion is and if I seriously think that you know I want to do um, content creating full time which I've wanted to do my whole life I might as well pursue it full time and at least try for like a year you know see if I can get somewhere because you never know it could happen I'm thinking um, if you guys watch the max I think Kieran is also contemplating that but don't quote me on that though I really do want to focus on my channel and the max channel like they're both of my favorite things in the world so that's probably my plan and in plans for summer I've got you know a few holidays that I've been talking about I want to do like I want to make a bucket list because I do make a summer bucket list every year but it just it never really goes the way I want it I do like two things and I'm like I'm done now but I'm definitely gonna do a bucket list for this summer and I'm gonna try and take off everything I can because I want a good summer you know I want to go on loads of like trips that was a very abrupt pause <laughs> I want to go on loads of trips, make memories. I want to go to a festival. I really want to go to Reading. I've got loads of concerts coming up. I'm so excited. And summer's not my favourite. I'll be real, summer's not my favourite at all. Um, but hopefully the summer will be good. I've got good feelings about it and it gives me got good opportunities to focus on my content creating. So if you guys are new to my channel, um, please subscribe. It will mean the world to me. And if you want to give me that extra bit of support, there's one on my Instagram you can follow, TikTok, the Max channel, like any of that would be absolutely amazing and I appreciate it so, so much. Okay, right, I'm gonna go down here. Um, Cause I'm gonna try and do a loop. I don't really know what I'm doing here, but oh shit. <laughs> Oh my god, all these cars are stopping. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, all these cars were just stopping for me. I was like, Moses part in the seas. Even though that made no sense. And I was just about to wave at someone who wasn't even <laughs> stopping. Oh my gosh, the ego. The ego is too big. The ego is too big. I actually am lost. I have no idea where I'm going, but that's okay. I'm going on a spontaneous little drive. What is going on? I genuinely don't know where I am. I think I used to walk to school this way. I'm like, I'm, I don't know. But do I have to know? No. Do you think I should have a podcast? Oh, is it just me? Why is everyone in their nan got a podcast? Like, honestly, half of my For You page is just people, it's like clips from people's podcasts. Oh, I know where I'm going now, I found. I did I did my loop correctly, go me. Oh, it was literally so, so sunny yesterday. And then there was a thunderstorm, it's crazy. It's madness. I briefly explain this on a get ready with me that I did today actually and it was kind of thinking about like not a rebrand I was gonna say rebrand it's not a rebrand um, it's more of like just some little changes nothing extreme uh, regarding to my channel so obviously if you've watched my channel for a while I do a lot of um, productivity videos you know I like to keep the aesthetics going what don't know what that means but I just like making cute little videos and I just feel like my videos are just getting a little bit repetitive and boring. Even though I still love making my videos, there's nothing um, bad about my videos. It's not, even though I still love making videos and it's not the fact that I'm in a creative slump, I'm just scared that my videos are gonna be boring. Um, because you know, I do my morning routine, I tell you how much I love Pinterest and I show you my skincare. Um, I just don't want it to become um, boring for you guys. So let me know if there's any other videos that you guys want to see 
or just a little bit more fun videos. Um, oh my God. I didn't even indicate or anything. That was foul of me. You know, I always indicate. I don't know why I didn't do that then. Sorry guys, I'm blaming you. You're distracting me. But we've kind of done a loop now, so I'm coming home now. Yeah, I was thinking about doing more like fun videos, maybe challenges, like food videos, because obviously I do um, want to do those challenge videos on my Max channel as well, because we do a lot of gaming <laughs> on there, so I've got hiccups. Um, but then I also kind of want to do it on my channel as well. So maybe I can do a bit of both, or maybe I make a separate channel for kind of random videos. Just let me know what you guys want, because obviously I make videos for you, as well as myself. Um, so I don't know, I'm just really stuck, because I feel like if you want to be successful, you have to have a niche. And I'm like, it's so hard just to pick one niche. I want to do everything, like it's so hard. Like I feel like it's just me who thinks that like everyone just sticks to one niche, but I just have to do everything. And it's hard to keep in one niche. Like, can you go just do the whole nine yards? Let's go, 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 cross the roundabout. This is my favorite roundabout to go on. Um, I go for it every single day. Um, on my way to college and I love it. They've really like all the painting of the, the, the lanes. So I know exactly where to go and it's so nice. I swear, for one of my videos, I really wanted to show you guys like my playlists and my music taste because it's so random, I swear. But I feel like it'd be so funny. And yeah, just please wait for my summer content. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. So many travel vlogs, just so many days in the life. Like making memories. I wanna bring back my summer journal back because that was a little series I did on my channel, um, which I loved. Or maybe we could give that a little rebrand, little jig. <laughs> I don't know what I'm on about, to be honest. Yeah, so please just, I don't wanna say stay tuned, but stay tuned. Oh, so I'm so glad I didn't go onto the right hand side at the start because, oh my God, the traffic is literally blocking up the roundabout. That's how bad it is. That is insane. And it's really rainy as well, so that's why it's probably busier. I just realized I'm gonna have to, oh my goodness, they almost made me go on the pavement. It's so far over. Um, anyway, what I was gonna say, oh my God, there's another bus, you joking? Oh my god. Anyway, what I was going to say is I'm probably going to add to a parallel park, which I'm not happy about because I don't like parallel parking. It stresses me out, and especially if someone's like watching behind me, they're like they're like stopped to watch me park. Oh, it's so embarrassing. It's very humbling as well. So maybe I'm gonna have to find an alternative way to park because it's just embarrassing. I hate it when cars are parked on a turn in, so you have to like go around on the other side of the road and someone, some car could literally just be swerving in at you and like, and then you die. So, just all good in it. Oh, I don't, I'm not, I'm refusing, I'm refusing to this parallel park. I'm actually refusing, I'm all, oh, you know what, this space is um, closer to my house. Perfect. Yay. It's just me, I feel bad and like, even though there's they're not, there's no, it's no one's space, but I just feel, oh. oh gosh. Even though these aren't people's actual spaces, I just feel bad knowing that I'm probably taking someone's space because I get mad if people take my space, even though it's not my space. I feel like I'm waffling, but like, do you guys get what I mean? Look, I'm on a slant now, right. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize I had a voice of an angel. Okay, right, this has just gone so badly. What the actual big fat? <laughs> it's so awkward, man. Okay, right, and then we're gonna go work back a little bit. What is going on? Please, someone help me. Oh my gosh, there was like a dent in the car in front. I was like, did I just do that? Girl, well, of course I didn't do that. Honestly, think everyone's out to get me. 
honestly, you know, my, my car is parked, right? And I'm sitting in my room and I hear someone beeping. I'm like, oh, they're beeping at me. Go, no, you're in your room and your car is parked. Honestly, I actually am going delusional. Is this okay? Oh God, I hope so. Let's have a look. I think that's the worst parking I've ever done in my life. That's actually humiliating. Right. That was actually humiliating. I, I'm not even, yes, I know my petrol's running out, okay, I'm poor, sorry. Um, that was actually humiliating to see that. Like, oh my God, that was actually horrible. That was <laughs> really humbling. There's people with ring doorbells all around my state, so that I can just tell they're watching me like, this girl cannot park for her life. And I'm like, yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Oh, oh my goodness, I'm just sharded. Right, I think we've got a, I think we've done it better this time. Let me check. Oh my goodness. Oh, look, I've just been in a tornado. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, you have to subscribe. You have to, basically, you have to. Um, oh my god, someone's walking past, it's really awkward. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Um, bye!